Yo, what's up guys? This video is going to be pretty raw and uncut, but I wanted to do an ACV rinse. I'm a bit shaky about doing it. It's the same as like swimming, but since I already went through the whole swimming process and me saying that, if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to go watch that video because I swam with these being in my hair for only three days and they stayed in. They are a little bit messy right now. I went to sleep last night without a do-rag or a head wrap or anything like that. So they are looking really messy. You guys are probably looking at this like, dude, what's going on? This is actually my yellow backdrop that you guys see on the videos, but it's super tight end, so you can't really see the edges. Uh, I plan on getting a new one just because it's really not wide enough to capture everything. But that is besides the point. I'm going to go ahead and pull down my hair and show you guys what I'm working with after a night of only sleeping with a hair tie in and not an actual like head wrap or do-rag. So my hair is still looking pretty good. Um, I just think that it's super frizzy and out of hand right now. And like they're really messy as far as like my opinion towards them. So what I got today, I have some vinegar, apple cider vinegar. A lot of people would recommend you to actually use organic apple cider vinegar, but I mean, I'm not super picky when it comes to using apple cider vinegar. And I also have some baking soda that I'm gonna be using. This is what I used on my dreadlocks before, so I still have the same baking soda. Hopefully it's still good, looks still good in there. But you guys, I'm gonna be doing it in this sink. Number one step is what I always say when doing ACV rinse is make sure that your sink is 100% clean. So I'm actually gonna be doing the cleaning right now. I'm not gonna show that process, but I'll take a little bit of the apple cider vinegar, fill up the sink, and then kind of just rub around it. That should clean it really well. For all of you who don't know what an apple cider vinegar rinse does, it kind of neutralizes your hair and makes your scalp return to its pH balance, I believe. Now, I'm not super technical with it, but I do know from my personal experience that doing an apple cider vinegar rinse is that my scalp becomes so much more breathable. I think the best way to explain the effects from using an apple cider vinegar rinse that your hair can actually breathe. So just take my word for it that this actually works really well, and it just makes your head feel so much more fresh versus, you know, all the buildup that comes with it, especially if you're using locking gel, there's gonna be buildup, there's gonna be flakiness, and this just returns your scalp to, I would say, its normal state. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with cleaning the sink, like I said, I'm gonna clean it out. I'm gonna put the apple cider vinegar and the baking soda mixture in with the water after the sink is completely clean. I'm going to soak my hair, probably do three dips, and then I'm gonna go into the shower, I'm gonna tie my hair up really tight, rinse it, and I'm actually doing a locking gel review on the Great Locks page, because I'm doing a retwist, a light retwist, I'm not doing a heavy one, and I didn't want to retwist my hair without washing it. I've only had my starter locks in for less than a week, so doing a wash is going to be interesting, but I am super ready for it, because my hair is already flaking, and I'm like, dude, what the heck? All of you out there who have starter locks, your scalp is typically going to flake or get build up because your scalp isn't used to dreadlocks and if you have dreadlocks and you plan on not washing your hair for a while or your washing cycle changes, your scalp is not gonna be used to it. So it's gonna take some time for your head to get used to your new pattern or your new schedule of washing. So it is time, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and then clean it out. Okay, I'm gonna start with the mixing process. So I just eyeball it. I'm gonna use some of the apple cider vinegar, like I said, and I don't like put a perfect mixture, I guess you would say. I kind of just eyeball it. I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of this. Er, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of this. There's some people out there that'll tell you to like the perfect measurements and like the parts to go with it, but I just think, um, I think the way that I'm doing it is okay. Cold water. You can kind of see how the water is neutralizing all the bubbles. So the reason I'm using cold water is because warm water tends to loosen up the curls or loosen up your starter locks. So I'm using cold water during the beginning stages, but after you've had your locks in for a while, I would recommend using warmer water or hot water when you wash your hair, just because it helps get out all the gunk or any buildup. But like I said, for the beginning stages, I'm only gonna be using cold water. So you can see everything is dissolved pretty well. I'm just mixing it in a little bit better because I can feel some baking soda at the bottom, but it is all mixed in really well. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in for my first dip. Let me grab a towel. Okay guys, I'm, I'm a bit shook on this, but I definitely need it because my scalp is super dry. So 
So I'm just lightly scrubbing my scalp with the pads of my fingers. So I'm not using my nails and I'm allowing it just to drip dry. And like I said, I'm just going to go in the shower immediately after this and then rinse all this out because you don't want to keep it in. That's one of the mistakes I made in the beginning when I first started doing ACV rinses is that I never like rinsed out the apple cider vinegar out of my hair. But I'll show you guys what my hair looks like after the first dip. Okay guys, so this is kind of what my hair is looking like after the first dip. Um, everything's still good. I think as long as you don't like kind of mess with the actual, you know, starter locks themselves, like if you're not like running your fingers through it, you should be straight because I mean, especially with my hair type, my hair naturally wants to, you know, combine with other hair. <clears throat> and that is with any hair type from, I would say, 3B all the way down to 4, you know, to the end of the scale. But if you do have a straighter hair pattern, I mean, if you already started your locks, then I would just recommend using crochet needle because there's hardly any other way to actually keep it in. But after the first dip, it's looking really good. I'm probably just going to do one more dip because, I mean, I've only had this in for uh, four days. So I'll do one more dip and then I will rinse all this out. So I'm doing the same thing as the first time. Just really making sure that um, I get rid of that buildup on my scalp and try to eliminate the flakiness. Cause that will get all inside of your dreadlocks if you don't know how to handle it. Okay, so there's a the second dip. This is what it looks like when my hair is just dripping. So it is really cool seeing how much the hair has changed over this, you know, I, well, not even a week. But the maturity actually takes place really fast if you let it. I think maturity slows down when you try to maintain it too much. Because what will happen with starter locks, especially with my hair type, me being a 3, B, 3, C, that the hair will start to get frizzy. And that's what's going to initially lock up the hair. And a lot of people try to eliminate frizz with trying to maintain it. But in reality, frizz is what's going to really lock up your hair because then that eventually will tighten up and then there won't be any frizz whatsoever. Okay, guys, I'm complete with the dips. I've only did two. Go ahead and let that go. Just letting this dry a little bit more. Um, I can tell right off the bat is that it just feels so refreshing to have, you know, an ACV rinse because the baking soda and the apple cider vinegar actually do so much to your, to your scalp that kind of neutralize it and balance it. So it's cool to do this whole process and I encourage all of y'all to do it. If you've never done an ACV rinse, it's definitely necessary and it helps out a whole bunch um, outside of just shampooing your hair. So that's that and I'm gonna go ahead and go shower real quick and I'll catch up with you guys right afterwards. Okay guys, I already started the shower but I figured out a great way to hold these in while I'm rinsing them out. I'm gonna be using these duck clips. I'm gonna install them right now so that my hair does not unravel as much as I think it's going to. So I think this is a great way to like make sure that it doesn't fall out. You can wear a do-rag or a wave cap while doing this as well. And I know people, I know some people actually wash their starter locks like that. They'll actually use shampoo and everything. But I'm just gonna clip all these in really quick. I think this is super protective. So this should be fairly simple. I'm just gonna grab a lot, clip them together. Okay, there we go. These are all clipped in and like 100% this should be okay because it'll keep my sections. That's the most important part because I am doing the retwist after this. So that's the biggest part to focus on. So we're good. I'm gonna hop in the shower. Okay guys, everything looks really good. This is immediately after the shower and I'm gonna pull all these out and then I'm gonna shoot this other video because I'm doing, like I said, a a locking gel review on great locks so if you're not already subscribed which i'll be surprised if you're not already subscribed to the great locks page which is strictly dreadlocks and doing dreadlock reviews and you know how to get dreads and everything like that but we'll see how this looks before i head off and do that like surprisingly like i'm super surprised like how all this stuff is actually working because i remember when i first started my dreads like they did not want to cooperate with me at all so this is actually good to see how everything is turning out um because, like I said, the first time I did it, like nothing was working for me. But, I mean, everything really works really well. I guess when you pay attention and I would say know what you're doing. So this is why I make these videos so that you don't have to, you don't have to worry about, you know, like little things such as your hair, figuring out how to do drill locks for a certain hairstyle so that you can actually live your life and do things so you're not so focused on trying to maintain your hair and make your hair look perfect. So it's like me taking the burden off of you so you can watch a video on how to do it and literally just take it very literal 
and it works. I actually shampooed my hair in the shower, so that's good too. I wasn't going to do that at first, I was just going to rinse it, but it actually looks good. That's the whole shebang though. They actually look better after I showered, so I would encourage you guys too. Like, I remember when I first started out my dreadlocks, I didn't shower for two whole months. So that's two whole months of buildup and all that. But if you want to stay on your showering routine or your wash routine, you can. You just have to know how to like maintain your hair, like using clips or using a hair tie or you know like a wave cap or a dreadlock or, or um or a do-rag to keep your dreadlocks in and keep them in place because the biggest thing is don't run your fingers through your starter locks or don't you know kind of mess with the whole process if you allow them to stay coiled up they should be straight you can still wash your hair you just gotta know how to do it like me i just lightly moved my pads of my fingers on my scalp and that worked great for me but you guys, this was an ACV rinse and then I rinsed my hair afterwards. Hopefully this helps you guys out and encourages you that if you have starter locks or you plan on getting them, this is my fourth day of having them and I got them completely wet twice, uh, three times already and haven't had any issues whatsoever. It actually improved them. So I think it's a myth that you can't get your hair wet and I'm debunking what I told myself, you know, four years ago that you can't wash your hair for two months. So this is kind of the other side of things that you can do it, you just gotta do it the right way. And then on the flip side, you can hold off on washing your hair for two months. If you choose that route, there's nothing wrong with either way. I'm just saying this is another route that I'm super excited to actually go down because I didn't do this in the beginning when I started them the first time. But hopefully this video helped you. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.